Hey everyone, what's up? It's Emperor here, and welcome back to another RPG Maker tutorial. This one is for Victor. Very similar to the last thing. Um, this system will basically say if you try to sell a broken item, um, he will offer to repair it instead. So, in preparation of this, you're only going to need one variable, and it's going to be called broken sword. Ignore this one. One variable. Um, I accidentally had two there, but you can delete that. Uh, and you're going to set the variable uh, called broken sword equal to game data item the number of broken swords in your party. Now this has to be a regular item, uh, or you can have it be a other thing if you want. You can have it be a weapon or whatever, but I, uh, I made the broken sword an item. And you're also going to need to create a weapon called the ultimate sword, or whatever else you want to call it. Now, uh, after you set that variable equal to the number of broken swords in your party, which should only be one, depending on how you set your thing up, you do your regular shopping system like normal, Afterwards, we have a conditional branch. Uh, if you if you don't know how to do a conditional branch, I recommend checking out the last video um, and whatnot. Uh, basically, the conditional branches are located in the first event thing here, flow control. So we're going to do a conditional branch. We're going to check and see if variable broken sword is greater than one after the shopping. If it is, we're going to do another conditional branch. This time on tab four, we're going to check and see if you have the broken sword. This saves uh, creating a second variable when we don't need to. And make sure you check the else branch in the uh, in the checking if you have the broken sword in your uh, party, uh, in your items rather. <laughs> All right. Um. So if so or if not, in the else section here, have him say, you know, I can repair this if you want. It's only fifty dollars. Uh, and you have choices: repair or no. And when you say repair, we're gonna have a conditional branch to check and see if gold is greater than or equal to fifty. And if it is, you subtract your party's gold by fifty. By doing the change gold command, you give the player the ultimate weapon or whatever, uh, whatever the fixed sword would be, and you get the text here. Um, else, if you don't have enough gold, uh, make sure the, uh, in the gold checking you have the else branch checked. Uh, he says you don't have enough money, and you can choose to sell anyway for the for the five gold. Uh, I'll explain that part in a minute, or not sell. So yeah, basically, if you don't sell, then you get your money back, and you also get your broken sword back. If you do sell, nothing happens, because you've already sold it. Alright, now, um, the five gold part. The broken item, it, um, whatever you sell it for, remember that, or whatever the price is, remember that the selling price is going to be half of that by default. So, if you want, if you want it to be sold for five dollars... Uh, then you would put the price as 10 because in shops when you're selling something it's always half price So let's see how the system looks By the way, it's raining so I apologize if you hear any lightning in the background or uh, Water I am not home So let's get ourselves some money broken sword And keep it real now if you notice if you don't sell the sword nothing happens so we have to sell on the broken sword. I could have put this if you want instead. Yeah. And we just lost our broken sword, so I gotta redo it. I guess I can go ahead and show you what happens if you don't have any money. So we're gonna sell the sword with no money. I could put this instead. Repair. You don't have enough. Don't sell or sell anyway. I'm not gonna sell it. So as you see, I got my broken sword back, and I gained five dollars. Uh, there's a little bug there, but don't worry about it. You can fix that part. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, we got a bunch of money. Um, so we're going to sell the broken sword now, and this time in repair, and you got the ultimate weapon. As you can see, we can equip it, and it, it buffs our stats so freaking much, it's insane. Alright, so anyways, yep, that is how you do that sort of system. Yeah, alright. Anywho, I apologize for the little bug there. Uh, I apparently, uh, you were supposed to subtract the gold, not increase the gold, and I made a little minor mistake. But that's how you do that. I hope this helped, and I hope you all enjoyed. See you guys later. Peace out.